Hey guys, this is the video review of TFC Toys H01 Minos from the Hades Combiner line. Basically, Lyle Kaiser line. What we have here is the third party version of Japanese G1 Hellbat. This is something I've wanted for a very long time. I have a big Lyle Kaiser fan and the moment I found this is happening, I was sold. So before I get to the toy itself, I just want to, you know, get a quick look at the box. Well, I rant a little bit of who Lyle Kaiser is. Lyle Kaiser is G1's strongest combiner. He was from the Victory line, the Victory Saga, the third animated series from Takara, basically in Japan. At the end of Season 3, you can see here TSC Toys. And the TFC. We have here the instructions and the card with some stats. There we go. Basically, they are formed out of the group called the Breast Force. I know it sounds funny, but basically that's what they are. They were called that because they each had a, an animal that would shoot out of their chest and either attack in its animal mode or turn into a gun. And like that, you that, that turns out to be their weapon. He came with these hands. They're pretty big compared to uh, Dino King's hands. Cyrus Rio's hand, Fans Project's Dino King. Pretty big. I've always been a huge fan of the Victory Series. It's my favorite. Now Kaiser was my favorite G1 combiner. It was this was awesome when I found out they made it. So let's take a look at the figure itself. It's very well done. They are very big actually. If they're like on a Voyager scale. That's pretty sweet. The transformation is decent. The instructions can be a little hard to understand, especially for the other one that came out. Um Thanatos, I think it's what it's called, which is supposed to be killed by son. The face is whole. Whoa, okay. The, the, also, a big thing about the Breast Force, they each had a like a their head with their helmet was basically the animal that they have. So, hold on. So, see, his is the bat, so you can see right there the face, you can see the, the eye and the wings. Basically, a beast head of a bat helmet. They also kept that very G1 authentic, which I liked. This is awesome. Let's bring in, oh, before we do that, let's take out the Bat Breast Force Partner. All right, here it is. It, it hasn't changed that much from the G1 version. The only thing that they changed was the fact that the legs fold down. I have the G1 version, so I'm going to bring those out in a second before I start comparing and transforming. The one thing I, I hated about G1 Lyle Kaiser, he was very small. I mean, compared to like Star Saber, like G1 Star Saber, he was tiny. So here's how small they were. This is Generation 1 Hellbat. As you can see, it has the bat wing, bat helmet, and the breast force. Pretty cool. It's pretty simple. I have a review on these guys up on my channel. If you guys want to check, I'll also put a link on the video if you guys want to check it out. So this is the updated one. And this is the old school one. You can see it's still basically similar. Can't do much in mobility, just the wings. But the problem here is that you can't move the feet. See, this one you can. You see the gun and the gun in the back. That's what I'm saying, it's very similar. Anyways, let's put these guys to the side now. I mean, you can see that the difference is amazing. The detail, it's great. I was very excited. Well, Lyle Kaiser was one, the baddest G1 combiner. For you guys who don't haven't watched um, Japanese G1, I recommend you should. There's a website that I'm going to put in the description that has both, all three Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory episodes. That's where I recently saw them with the original Japanese. Because I saw Victory years ago when I was 
when I started collecting and it came in like a three big box set with a bunch of CDs, DVDs, like three big boxes. It was Headmasters, Master Force, and Victory. The problem is they were translated horribly, like so bad. You could, you probably had like four people who recorded the whole cast. Before we compare, let's just see what we got here. Double elbows. Okay, rotating from the top. Of course, head movement. Okay, waist. It's on a ball, ball-like thing with a cover on it. So you have all the movement of a ball peg. It's still covered, so you don't really see it stick out. Waist moves the course. And the knees. And a ball peg on the feet, so you can make all types of cool posing. It's an awesome guy. Anyways, let's transform this guy into a gun. It's very simple, just like the G1 version. You gotta close it. This time you gotta lift the head. <clears throat> Sorry. You gotta lift the legs up. And you fold that down. Just like. Just like this guy. See? Simple. Fold it down. Just a cooler, modified, bigger design. That's about it. And now you can, of course, put it on his hand. There you go. You could do all types of cool posing you got great mobility so it's a great figure I really love it anyways I was saying Lyle Kaiser was a badass I don't think he ever fully I know he never fully got beat like for example Dino King would get beat out of his combination all the time but Lyle Kaiser the fights would end and he was still ready to go but he had to leave so he never got beat and the way he was killed <clears throat> spoiler alert it was horrible it was the Cheapest way you kill the baddest G1 combiner. Anyways, I don't want to ruin too much. Anyways, this is the hands. They've got three points of bending right there and at the very tip of the pinky with the fingers. So you have full mobility. You can't twist the fingers though. So all you can do is up and down. The thumb also with a peg here. Pretty sweet. It's a pretty big hand. Also, you're going to see that there's pegs here and here and here I'm assuming you could yeah you can actually put all the breast animals in their combined form on his hands when he's Lyle Kaiser so like that he has the partners which were always left out in a G1 toy I guess you can have him hold it or whatnot whatever pretty cool alright let's um, start bringing some guys that we know so you guys can get a feel of what it looks like here we have um, the second released item Thanatos, which is Kill Bison. I, I'm, I'm so psyched about these. These guys, I am a huge Lyle Kaiser fan. I mean, this isn't really going to help, but the review of this guy is going to be posted at the same time, so please short, make, stop by to watch that. Alright, let's get this guy out of here. Let's start bringing um, Fans Project, Saurus Ryu O Project, the Dino Force people. Here's Dino She. Dino knee. So you can see at the, this, this scale of Lyle Kaiser is going to be way bigger than your average combiner. It's going to be massive. I only saw one picture of Lyle Kaiser combined in some sort of convention and he was posted next to TFC Toys Ares and Uranos and he was obviously bigger. He was a beast. So here we are. Victory Reborn in the Art of Third Party. Thank you guys for doing this so awesome and of course here we have masterpiece saber he is so outnumbered he is screwed that is so cool man i never thought i'd see this i never owned dino king so this is great for me i came back to collecting and reviewing transformers at the best time it was masterpiece star saber that that uh made me come back to collecting and then I saw all these guys coming out I was like it's just amazing so you can see he's about he's bigger than Voyager Classics Optimus and that's saying something he's pretty big he's great looking and he's a decent transformation and looks great okay that's that's as close as you can get right you don't think I think we're done with the robot comparisons for now 
Let me get these guys out of here. God, I'm so excited. Such a geek. I mean, to see a Masterpiece Star Saber and a third party Hellbat, to me, is like awesome. Like, I worship Victory. The moment I saw Star Saber in the anime, it was, I fell in love. I, He is just one cool Transformer. There's just no denying it. All right, I'm going to do a real treat real quick so you can see what the G1 Leo Kaiser is combined. So one second. All right, here is G1 Leo Kaiser. As you can see, he's pretty small. He's only a little bit bigger than Voyager Hellbat. So at first, I didn't know how big they were. You know what I mean? You can't really tell in pictures. I bought them on eBay, and when I got them, they were smaller than I had hoped. I was hoping he'd be bigger than G1 Star Saber so it could look really cool next to him, but he's quite small. Not as small as G1 Dino King, Monstructor. It's, that's probably the tiniest combiner in the G1 line. Okay, this is just, you know, just to show a reference, I guess, whatever. All right, I was going to bring in Masterpiece Star Saber in his big mode, but I don't think that's very necessary. You're going to see that he's very big. I'm going to bring it out in when I have his combined arm mode. So for now, let's get down to the transformation. It's pretty easy. I don't know, maybe I'm just retarded, but when I was looking at the instructions, especially Kill Bison's, I felt like I was missing pictures or something, but I figured it out. It's not that difficult. You don't literally have to turn the, the hands 180, but I, I suggest it because when you put it in like this, it gets stuck some of the time. So when you turn it 180, it, it comes in and out easily, so avoid yourself some stress. All right, so first, we want to grab the wing, straighten it, bring that up, uh, we can do that in a few. So just straighten it, like that. All right, now we want to, the nose cone has these foldable bits, so you can bring it down to form it. Okay, right here you can drag down the wings because they kind of get in the way when you're trying to put this to the top. You wouldn't think it's it's hard, but it kind of is. Like, if you're just trying to go like, look, for example, I'm just going to show you an example. You see, if you're trying to do it like that, oh, I'm an idiot. Maybe maybe it was stuck before, because before I couldn't even, couldn't even really do that and just bring it. I'm trying to see, maybe there's a way that I was able to, because it was giving me a lot of hell. Maybe after doing it after a while, it loosened up a bit. Anyways, it's just a good hit anyway. You want to bring this, fold it in at the half, and bring it up. When you're halfway, you push it in, and then you just pull out. That's that makes it a bit easier. Anyways, so let me turn the head 180, and we bring this down. You see there's pegs at the shoulders. Slots up here, simple. There we go. And we have the landing gear that's up in here. You want to yank it out and pull it all the way. You got to pull it out so it's, it sticks right there. There we go. You can't really close it afterwards. You can just shut it down like this. All right, at this point, we want to turn the wing in the back. Okay, push the feet in. That just push it on in. And then we want to open it from the back like that. And now you can bring the foot down, the leg, and you can close it just nicely. Same thing at this side. You can see when you gotta put this peg right here, then it keeps it straight. Alright, let me keep this out the way for now. Hey, your connecting port is showing. Cover up. Wow, can't believe I said that. <laughs> anyway. Who doesn't appreciate a horrible joke every now and again? All right. Now we bring that down. All right, we're basically done here. But we should turn these things around. These things fall out a lot, so and it's no problem if it does. You can. It's easier, as a matter of fact, if you just simply just pull off the wings and change them yourself. Trying to have it still attach is a pain in the ass. All right, now the hands. Okay, you want to have to bring them like this, okay, at this angle, and then you want to pull out like that, but you want to bring this whole shoulder down, okay, 
and then you want to make sure it's straight like that. Now you can bring down this form on the arm. See, it kind of folds a bit right here. That's how you really want it. And then you want to connect it to this peg and slot on this side. As a matter of fact, I think I should have done the wings at first. Okay, let's do that. All right, you want to make sure all this is, you know, placed in properly. The arms connect to the wing, so it helps make everything sturdy. So it kind of helps to keep it like this. I pull that out a bit sometimes. And straighten these wings that I left folded earlier. All right, let's go. As you see, there's also a peg right here that goes right there. So that holds the arm and the wing in place. When so basically, you gotta you have to plug in the wing all the way inside here while also filling this spot here it makes everything all nice and sturdy so push it like down make sure you align there we go make sure that this is folded as much as possible it doesn't even matter if you have this straight you can also fold it like downwards works all the same it doesn't really matter all right now we want to push the wing in and make sure it's perfect okay push that in and make sure that this goes in perfectly it's being a bit stubborn right now there we go okay now that it's in we can push that properly in there Alright, that's why. That's what's giving me resistance. There we go. And perfect. Okay. Same thing on this side. Bring it down. that aim it like this push in and press though sometimes you want to make sure everything is all pressed nicely so you have to make sure you get everything all right in there and then everything is perfect sometimes these things are out of line and stuff but it's not really a big deal but I'm anal and I want it to look perfect so All right. All right, that's good enough. Final step, bring these down. Now we have the landing gears. We fold down from the knee. We want to keep them as up as possible. So not to like press it down all the way. You want to keep it high. high. All right, so. As you can see, it stands just fine, but if you want to add the breast force, you have to, the breast animal, you got to lift this up, and make sure you put it upwards, and you got to make sure you press it down all the way, because then it just stays, stands in the way of the top landing gear, and push down, push that as down as possible, remember, you got to yank on this a bit, so it stands perfectly. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty even, so you're pretty good here. All right, and that is the jet mode. I, at first, I didn't even know they were doing this guy at first. I just said that first twice, but whatever. I didn't know, but I do get pre-order alerts from Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source, and I check them all the time, and when I saw this blue jet, I knew it was Lyle Kaiser. That and the brown tank, I was geeking hard like hard hard I'm like I can't believe this is actually happening and they're making him big which is what I like is G1 Live Kaiser was so small and these individual parts are huge so it's gonna make a monster of a combiner so you can just take a look at everything the unique part the unique part of Hellbat is the way the jet is I just a singular fin in the center and just the two long wings there was always something that I always remembered about Hellbat. Little story on Hellbat, he is the sneaky type. 
I mean, you have the leader, Leo Zak, who oh, at the end wants to take over for Death Saris, the commander for victory, the Edesteron, the Decepticon, whatever, leader. But this, how bad it's sneaky, he's always trying to overthrow Leo Zak, make him look bad to Death Saris or Death Saris, whatever you, what you want to call him. So he's like the star scream of the bunch. Okay, I'm going to just do some quick transformations. One second. Okay, guys, here we have, again, Hellbat in his jet mode, and we have Masterpiece Saber. You can see he is a bigger jet. I mean, he is a little bit bigger than, than Saber in his robot mode. He's definitely, a, he's way bigger than I anticipated. I kind of figured he'd be a little bit bigger than the Saurus Ryu guys. Around the same size as Saber, must be Saber, but him being bigger just proves the fact that it's just gonna be massive combiner. All right, I also want to bring in real quick G1 Hellbat in his jet mode. It's like a mini, a mini Happy Meal version of this guy. This guy didn't even have landing gears; he just had these high points and a foot. And that worked well back then. This is why, even though I love Lyle Kaiser, I never liked the toy that much. How, just because of size. Everything about it, the transformation and everything, I love it. The combination is unique and everything for a G1 toy. So, I'm not complaining there. I'm just complaining about the size. Alright, I'm going to bring in uh, the V-Star. Plugged in with Saber. So, you can get a bigger scheme of how it looks in the Masterpiece scale. It's like I'm just, you know, just connecting the jet and whatnot. And these landing gears. I love Masterpiece Star Saver. So glad this guy came out. I want to take the opportunity to thank all the fans that voted for Star Saber. I had no idea what was going on at the time. I would have definitely voted for Star Saber as well. But I didn't have the chance. So I want to thank all the guys who were out there and voted for Star Saber. Thank you so much for making me, allowing me to see this beautiful toy. Because I love Star Saber also, but he was a bit blocky. Alright, let's get a higher view. Alright. He's still, he's still not even that, not even bad. You see, he's still pretty big, even when you see Star Saber in jet mode combined entirely. It's just great. Alright, I'm going to bring in um, Thanatos, you know, kill Bison, and then we'll transform into the arm. Here we go with Thanatos, aka kill Bison, in vehicle modes. They are very big. I was pleasantly surprised when I got them. And their combiner molds are huge. Speaking of which, let's get down to it. We are going to do Hellbat's arm mode and then back to robot. And that will conclude the video review. <coughs> Sorry about that. A little tongue tied there. Remove. Sir Bat. Chest Batman chest bat thing breast animal whatever I don't even know what to call it there for a second okay okay I'm trying to get to this alright let's start with I think we can yeah we have to close this alright you want to close the landing gear doors let's just pull these bastards up okay we want to up and up. You also want to lift these. Want to yank this whole panel off, the center panel. And just keep it there. And then you just want to turn it like that. Hmm. No, I think it's the other way. Yeah, it's this way.
All right, from here, <clears throat> sorry about that. You just simply want to do one thing. First, let's turn this like that. You want to grab the whole upper front, okay? Make sure you got this stuff like this. You want to yank it, like pull it out like that. Just like that. Now, 180. And I was wrong. The wings were supposed to be like that. Go with your first thought. That's what my girlfriend always says. Okay. See, now we have a thing like this. It's like a whole thing you have to turn in place. This can be a bit annoying if you don't know what you're doing and if the instruction manual isn't as clear as it should be. So, you gotta make sure everything is all pressed tight. There's a tab right there. And these right here, they go into the shoulder. Uh, but first, it's the most important thing. Now, you gotta fold out the connector port. If that stays where it's right there, you'll never get the transformation right. Okay, now you want to leave this whole thing in limbo for a quick second. And the wing fell off, but like I said, those things come off all the time. You want to make this as straight as possible. Okay, that's fine. And now you want to turn the hands where these pegs go into those slots. So, like that. It doesn't have to be straight, it can be a bit curved, it's fine. As long as we're like that, as long as we have these straight. All right, let's reattach the rogue wind wing. Just push that back in here. All right, now that we have all this stuff, you gotta make sure you put these into these pegs right here. They're screw holes, but they also work as places where you have to make everything go steady. Okay, I'm going to tell you what to do with all this part right here in a second. The, the important thing we got to do right now is just get these pieces on. Just, just don't worry about everything else that's hanging. You got to make sure you get that here and in there. Make sure that's pressed as well. Okay, now you want to hold on to the top like this because this is where things get optional. All right. You see this? Depending on how you push this and it goes in, the more the this hangs. So if you want it to be a little higher like that, you just pull it out a little. If you want it to be a bit lower, you press it in. Well, that's a little bit too much. Okay, just press it in. And it goes all the way. See, and it hangs a bit lower. Okay, I personally like it a bit higher, so I just keep it like that. Make sure you have all this stuff pressed in as well. All right, and final step, you got to pull these pieces out. And then you have yourself an arm, a fairly big one at that. Now, thing came with two fists, so in the case you don't want to wait for the final two toys, which will be the right arm and the left leg, you can buy doubles and you can have you can have four guys, a four guy combiner with two duplicates, just like the one that was on display at that convention. They didn't have any guy hawks or drill horns ready, so they just used two hellbats and two um, kill bisons. So if you want to have something that looks like Lyle Kaiser, you can just double buy it. So this is simple. I mean, I don't think I have to explain much. Open the legs, peg, slot, slot. Peg and peg, simple, bop, and bop, and you have yourself a fairly big arm. All right, let me get a better look here. Make sure you press that nice, and press all these massive fingers, and like that. It's pretty big. For example, here's what's available of Dino King for now. Combining the comparing the arm isn't even enough as you can see this arm is very small and scrawny while well, this thing is Massive the arm alone coming down to the fist is bigger than the whole upper half of Ryu O So that just lets you know how big this guy will be Also, here's masterpiece star saber And 
here we have an arm. As you can see, he's, I think he's going to be a tad bit bigger than Masterpiece Star Saber. I hope so. It's a massive arm, like really big. All right, and there's one there's one thing I loved about this. They um they mimicked Lyle Kaiser himself, like the way the arm transforms and looks for the G1. I'll explain. Just let me put this right again. It's constantly falling off. All right. Okay. Let me explain. As you can see, Lyle Kaiser had the toy at least had one arm going across the wings upward and the jet cone just like that it's a better more fancier way but this is how it went in the G1 version see okay wings nose arm this is what's pretty unique about Lyle Kaiser you have to move that this flap like that like that and then you gotta lift this leg up oops uh, the thing came off. All right, give me a second. Gonna lift this piece up, and you make sure the little tab is properly caught right here. And now you want to lift this foot all the way up, and that's what connects to. And the fist is already inside. So it connects to Guy Hawk and connects to Lyo, Lyo Zach, Leo Zach. This is what I meant as being. A tad similar nose cone on the top, wings, arm, and arm. Although the connector is the whole leg, it doesn't really matter. It's not an identical remake, it's updated, but they at least tried to make it look as legit as possible. Now, that's basically all I have to show you about this guy. Let's just bring him back to his robot mode, and that'll be it. Now, as I mentioned before, I am a huge Lyle Kaiser fan. This is like a dream for me, and I can't wait to own all these guys. This is a no-brainer for me. If you guys haven't seen Transformers Victory, I recommend you guys go and see it. It's a great series. It's the final full animated series in the Japanese G1 line. It was Headmasters, Headmasters Master Force, and Victory. And then they made one episode of Zone. And ever since then, the return of Convoy Battle Stars that was released in Japanese TV magazine. And they weren't even that. It was badly done. It was like a very cheap comic book with like two pages, very little illustration. It's just. It fell off after victory. Even though Zone was cool and they had Big Powered, which is an awesome toy. But still, it was, yeah, at best. The first episode was awesome, especially with all the, re the, with all the regenerated um, G1 combiners from America, like Manasaur, Bruticus, King Poseidon, King Poseidon, Piranacon, Trypticon, Predaking, all those guys made it back. Devastator, it would have been epic. They even had Overlord and Black Zarak. It was great, man. It really was amazing. That first episode is awesome. Maybe you could find it on YouTube. It was great, man. So cool. I would have loved to have seen that show hit anime. All right, and simply just want to bring this back down. Lift this up. Okay, basically everything is already taken care of. All you need to do is bring down the nose cone again. Let's bring this bad boy down. You can get some room to work with here. You also want to open this. They got to be open when you turn it. Bring it all the way down like that, and we raise this whole bit up. Okay, push that down, and you push that in because there's pegs on and slots on the inside, like behind the peg bit. You need to move this upward and upward and a little bit of repositioning and taking out the hands and we are back where we started anyways this is awesome i can't wait to get the rest i hope they released the next two lyle zach and leo zach and jaruga i hope they released them together like they did these two 
And I can't wait. Leo's Lack is my favorite one. How about it's my second favorite? Guy Hawk is my third, and Leo's Lack is my first. My my first. It's just awesome. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this review. I know it was a bit long, but I wanted to be as thorough as possible, showing you as much as I possibly can, because that's how much I really like these guys. And it's amazing. I'm going to post a link to the website where I saw them. It's absolutely legit. No, it's free anime website. They have all of them there. It's no, it's awesome. That's where I saw them at. It's great. So anyways, that's about it for this guy. Now I got to <laughs> do this all over again for Thanatos slash Kill Bison. I'm going to try to upload these at the same time so I can't really stop. But it was awesome reviewing this for you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm really excited for this guy. For the rest of these guys, I'm going to try to bring them to you as soon as I possibly can because this is awesome for me. I'm also going to review the the Dino Kings that I haven't done yet. I meant to do it, but kind of slacked. Now there's only two of them left, and I'm, I'm still going to just review them anyway, even though it's a bit late. So anyways, for now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me or comment on the page. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. Bye.